x-intercept and y-intercept of a graph, x-intercept is a point at which the graph intersects the x-axis. So at that point, we let y equals to 0 and then solve for x. So let's say we want to sketch the graph of this equation y equals to 3 over 2x minus 3. So the x-intercept, so you will get some straight line, right? So you will get some straight line. The x-intercept is the point on the curve where the curve hit the x-axis. All right, so how do we find that point since that point is on the x-axis? So let's take a look at this graph. So let's say we have a point on the x-axis. So right over here at that point, we know y equals to zero. So to find the x-axis, we have to let y equals to zero. So let's put this graph back and then let's go ahead and read the y-intercept. So y-intercept is a point at which the graph intersects the y-axis. So we have a point on the y-axis and then at that point we have x equals to zero so let's find the x and y intercept of the first equation so to find the x intercept i always write this down to find the x intercept you let y equals to zero so when y is equals to zero you have zero equals to three over two x minus three and then just solve this simple linear equation so we have 3 equals to 3 over 2x. So obviously, x equals to 2. And then the x-intercept is 2, 0. Please don't tell, which don't say that the x-intercept is 2. x-intercept is an order pair. It's a point on the curve. So you have to provide the x and the y coordinates. So 2 comma 0, not just x equals to 2. And then on the other hand, for the y intercept, so y intercept, so this time we are going to let x equals to 0, which is very easy. So y equals to 3 over 2 times 0 minus 3. So y is equals to negative 3. As always, y intercept is a point, is an order pair, so you should write 0 comma negative 3. And then the way we sketch the graph is we plot these two points. So one as 0, negative 3, which is right over there, the y intercept. And then the x intercept is at 2, comma 0. And then we have a straight line, right? This is y equals to 3 over 2x raised to the first power minus 3. So we have a straight line. So all you have to do is you connect these two points and then you extend the line. So do you see that? So this is the graph of the equation. So what is the line represents? The line represents y equals to 3 over 2x minus 3. The x-intercept is 2, 0. The y-intercept is 0, negative 3. All right, so let's do the other one. The other one, we have to find the x-intercept first. So for x-intercept, you let y equals to 0 and then solve for x. 0 equals to negative 2 over 5x plus 2, subtract 2 on both sides, you have negative 2 over 5x. So this one, we have to let x, x must be equals to 5, right? So when x is equals to 5, we have y equals to 0. All right, and then the x-intercept is 5 comma 0. So when x is equals to 5, y is equals to 0. So we have a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or I should just plot a point right over there to make the graph cleaner. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have an x-intercept right over there. And then the y-intercept. So y-intercept, you let x equals to 0. y equals to negative 2 over 5 times 0 plus 2. You have y equals to 2, so when x is equals to 0, y is equals to 2, so this is your 0, 2, and then you connect these two points to sketch the graph, so you connect them, and then you extend the line. So what is this line stands for? This line stands for y equals to negative 2 over 5x plus 2. And this is also how you sketch the graph of a linear equation using x and y intercept. So you find the x intercept, find the y intercept, plot both, connect them, extend the line that you get your graph. This is a 5 comma 0 and this is a 0 comma 2. All right, so let's do more examples. So moving on, I want you to give me the x and y intercept of this equation. 
So to find x intercept, always write this down. X intercept, I will just write i n t. We let y equals to zero. So we have zero equals to the square root of three x minus one. To get rid of the square root, you square both sides. Zero equals to three x minus one. In case you don't remember, I will just like write this out for you. All right, so obviously we have x equals to one third, right? So the x intercept is one third comma zero. And then how about the y intercept? The y intercept is we let to find the y intercept, we let x equals to zero, and then we solve for y. So y is equals to the square root of three times zero minus one. Y is equal to the square root of negative one. That is undefined, right? The square root of negative is undefined. So this is undefined. Therefore, there is no y intercept. This equation has no y intercept. All right, the, the other one, so to find the x intercept, we let y equals to zero. So zero equals to negative absolute value x plus four. So we have an absolute value. The only way to get a zero on the left hand side is the, um, the stuff inside the absolute value equals to zero. So we want to have x plus four equals to zero in order to get a zero on the left hand side. So therefore x is equals to negative four then your x intercept is negative four comma zero how about the y intercept the y intercept we are going to let x equals to zero so we have y equals to negative absolute value zero plus four so y is equals to negative since the negative is outside the absolute value that doesn't affect anything so we would just have a negative four so the y intercept is when x is equals to zero y is equals to negative four all right, not yet. We are not done. We still have more. So I have two more functions for you. So this time, the one on the left has multiple x intercepts. So let's find find that. So for the x intercept, we let y equals to zero. So we have zero equals to negative x to the third plus four x. Still remember how to factor this. So first of all, I will factor our negative and an x out. So I have an x squared minus four right i have a x squared minus four and then zero equals to negative x and then i have x plus two and then x minus two using zero product property i have x equals to zero negative two and a positive two okay so we have zero comma zero negative two comma zero and positive two comma zero and then how about the y intercept so for the y intercept we let x equals to zero, which is very easy. So we have y equals to negative zero to the third plus a zero, right? So y equals to zero, and then the origin zero comma zero is both the x and the y intercept. Uh, you don't need to sketch the graph, but I still want to show you what the graph looks like. But we remember, you don't need to sketch this by hand. I don't expect you to, I won't like ask you to sketch this graph by hand. I just want to show you what the graph looks like. So we have a 0, 0, a negative 2, and a positive 2. The graph looks like this, going down, going up, and then going down. That looks like this. So we have one at the origin, one at a 2, and then one at a negative 2. All right, so let's do the red one. The red one we have to find the x-intercept. And then we let y equals to zero. So zero square equals to phi minus x. So x is equals to phi, right? So x is equals to phi. Then we have a phi comma zero. That is my x intercept. And then for the y intercept, we have to let x equals to zero. So we have y square equals to phi minus zero. Then y square is equals to phi. This is a this is a square, right? And then y is equals to plus or minus square root of five. When do we use the plus or minus? When the degree is even. Second power, fourth power, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. When the power is even, you have to use a plus or minus. So therefore we have two y intercept, 
one as zero would phi, and then one as zero negative would phi. What is the graph look like? The graph looks like a sine wave parabola. The graph looks like this. You have an x intercept at phi zero, and then two y intercepts, one at one as zero would phi, one as zero negative would phi. So let's make that uh, symmetrical. Like that is a sine wave parabola. So this is a zero negative would phi. The one on top is zero positive would phi. All right, so that is the end of this lesson. If you like the way I teach math, give me a thumbs up, a subscribe. I will meet you all in the next lesson. Signing out.